Hi guys, Tim here from MakeUseOf.com. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can play old school Pokemon and other classic Game Boy games on your iPhone via the wonders of emulation. It should be said that downloading ROMs for games you don't own is illegal. The exact law differs from country to country, but most of the time if you don't make the backup yourself for archival reasons, then you're breaking the law. With that out of the way, let's get on with the fun stuff. There are two different ways to emulate the classics on your iPhone. The first we'll look at is using a web-based emulator called Gameplay. First, you need to install the emulator as a web app on your home screen. So open up Safari and head to GameplayColor.com. Once you're there, tap on the Play Now button. Then on the following screen, tap the Share button and choose Add to Home Screen. Tap Add to confirm your choice and you'll see the app appear on your home screen just like a regular app. Gameplay Color uses Google Drive for ROM management, so upload any ROMs you want to play to your drive. It doesn't matter what folder you use. Now launch the Gameplay Color web app you installed earlier and click on the Google Drive Sign In button. Sign in with your Google account, then grant Gameplay Color access to your Google Drive. You'll need to copy the access token from Safari into the Gameplay Color web app. Once you've done this, the emulator will scan for any ROMs it can find. Tap on a ROM to save it locally. Now launch the ROM by tapping it. You can control Gameplay Color using the on-screen joypad and buttons. Your game saves should work as normal, like it would on a real cartridge. Just be careful if you're multitasking, since you could lose a lot of progress between saves if Gameplay Color gets pushed out of memory. While web apps are great, they're not quite as effective as native apps. iEmulators is a website that allows you to install apps on your device that have been signed for enterprise use. The problem here is that these public enterprise certificates are frequently revoked. Most of the time you won't be able to install or run apps listed on iEmulators. And that's where the Build Store comes in. It's a premium service that uses your device's unique device identification number to provide access to signed enterprise apps. To use this service, you'll need to pay a yearly fee to keep your device enrolled. Get started by heading to builds.io and register or log in. Now choose between the classic and the upgraded plan, then complete your purchase using PayPal. When you're done, you can hit the Return to Sellers website where you should see a message notifying you that your payment has been applied to your account. Now you can tap Install Apps to browse the apps available to you. GBA for iOS 2.1 is the best Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance emulator, so you'll probably want to start there. Note that you probably need to wait about 5 to 10 minutes for your device registration to complete before you can actually install anything. When you're ready, hit Install to download the emulator, then hit Run. Check your home screen to see the installation progress. Once you're done, GBA for iOS or any other app will open just like a regular iPhone app that you downloaded from the App Store. You can now transfer ROMs either wirelessly using AirDrop or by connecting a Dropbox account. GBA for iOS is a proper emulator with additional features like wireless link cable emulation, auto save states, color palettes, controller skins, and support for external controllers. Now that you've got a Build Store membership, you can also grab a few of the other emulators like the multi-platform emulator Happy Chick, Nintendo DS emulator INDS, and 16-bit Sega emulator Gear System. For more information about these emulators, click on the link in the description to read the full article on MakeUseOf.com.